I'm going to be reading one short story out of this collection of short stories. The name of this book is Chicken Soup for the Kid's Soul. So this is a compilation which means lots of stories put together in one book. And what's unique is that each story is written by a different author. Some of the authors are kids and the kids were in grades 3 through 8 in lots of different schools. And some of the stories are written by adults. Um, each story is sorted into a theme or a category. Um, so when I read it to you, I'm going to tell you which theme or category it's found underneath. And as well as before each story, there's always a quotation by somebody else that ties to the theme or the category of the story itself. These are super short stories usually. There are no illustrations, um, but I really want you to be listening to see why is this story listed underneath the category or theme that it is. Okay, So right now I'm going to read you a story, super short. This is all the longer it is. Um, it's called The Sandbox. Okay. So the quote to kind of get you thinking and settled in is by William Penn. I expect to pass through life but once. If therefore there can be any kindness I can show or any good thing I can do to a fellow being, let me do it now and do not defer or neglect it as I shall not pass this way again. And that's by William Penn. That quote reminds me of the book Each Kindness by Jacqueline Woodson. I want you to be thinking about that quote and its meaning is that if you have an opportunity to do something kind, you should do it because you might not get another chance. So that ties into the short story I'm going to read for you right now that's called The Sandbox. And this is written um, by a boy named Lucas Parker. He wrote it when he was 11 years old, but it actually took place when he was, um, I believe, 5 years old. Okay. The Sandbox. One day, when I was 5, I went to a local park with my mom. While I was playing in the sandbox, I noticed a boy about my age in a wheelchair. I went over to him and asked if he could play. Since I was only five, I couldn't understand why he couldn't just get in the sandbox and play with me. He told me he couldn't. I talked to him for a while longer. Then I took my large bucket, scooped up as much sand as I could, and dumped it into his lap. Then I grabbed some toys and put them in his lap too. My mom rushed over and said, Lucas, why did you do that? I looked at her and replied, he couldn't play in the sandbox with me, so I brought the sand to him. Now we can play in the sand together. This story is sorted in the category or theme called overcoming obstacles. So I want you to think about the obstacle in the story which would have been the boys both couldn't be in the sandbox and how they overcame it. Lucas the main character brought the sand to the boy in the wheelchair. I want you to leave this story reflecting or thinking about when you are faced with a difficult situation, what can you do to overcome it? <music>